I really don't know why, but I'm like relapsing all of a sudden all over again. And for those of you guys that don't know, which none of you guys probably do know if you don't follow me on Twitter, but I didn't start smoking until I was like 30. 31. I was like, I was really old. I was substantially older than the rest of the the new smokers. And yeah. Long story short, I started smoking because my mom passed away. But if I could be totally honest, I tried smoking a long time ago, but I was like, I can't have a job and do this. Like a long time ago, I took like, I realized I'm putting like my raggedy <laughs> joint that I just tried to like roll up. I put that inside of this pre-roll cone because sis we don't know how to roll joints yet you gotta crawl before you walk anyways but um but yeah no i like ah, all this paper in here is gonna be more of a filter too but um yeah i started smoking weed because my mom and dad smoked weed <laughs> when i was growing up and although i never like had a desire to do it i was always just kind of like i was kind of like my dad would be hella chill and my mom, my dad didn't actually smoke weed that long. Like, I mean, considering he probably smoked weed for, let's just say 10 years out of his life and he stopped in his thirties, uh, somewhere in there. And of course I'm just high right now. So if I'm talking too much, that's why. Um, and yeah, so yeah, <laughs> like, I don't know where I was at in that story. That wasn't really truly supposed to be a story though. So this is the part that's like daunting to me is trying to like, get the little nugs together, crush them up, and then pour them into the pre-roll package because I don't want to waste any of this, like... And the, the guy at the little dispensary is so excited to tell me that this was like granddaddy perp, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I don't know what that means, but I'm sure it's going to feel pretty good. So pack her away. And it was on sale, buy one, get one free, which means it's probably... Well, I don't know what that means, actually. I'm not much of a weed... I was not much of a weed person before, but I'm about to be now. And some of y'all might be thinking to yourself, like, how do you start smoking weed when you stop smoking weed? Because if you guys follow me on Twitter, then you already know that I stopped smoking weed. I don't smoke weed anymore at all. But, um, yeah. Impact energy aside, y'all see what the world looking like today. And I'm not going to go into like the government woe is me part of it, but I'm going to blow these trees and I'm going to de-stress my fight, <laughs> de-stressify myself. De-stressify my, don't matter if it makes sense. Ugh. The thing that I hate the most is like, especially when you like smoke with dudes, like, sir, why are you trying to like gatekeep how to roll the blunt? Is this the, your ploy to keep me around? I'm trying to gatekeep how to roll the blunt. Stop trying to, ow, that hurt. Stop trying to not show me how to do it because the reason I'm here is to watch you do it so that I don't have to all, drive all the way back over here if I don't have to. Anyways. <laughs> this is such a stupid idea. But my nails are so long that I don't want to like try to pour this in here and all my marriage away way falls away way. <laughs> What's wrong with me? I'm off the rails today, you guys. But honestly, though, that whole... The cones are a lot better. That whole issue that happened with, like, the school shooting... Oh, these are purple. Anyways, the school shooting and all that kind of stuff, and me being an empath and, like, having direct... Being directly my energy, because I dreamed about that before it actually even happened. And it was, like, the worst dream I've ever had. And I was just like, oh, like, this is bananas just to see it come into fruition is so like so pointless violence is so pointless violence is so very pointless okay this is the stupidest idea i've ever had like i tried to roll this weed on a a brown paper bag a brown shopping bag i like saving the turtles so i got a, a brown paper bag but um I don't even know what I'm talking about. Oh, I was talking about how stupid this was to try and roll this weed on here. I can't call that stupid. That felt that felt dark sided. That felt malicious. All right, anyways. So if you can see there's only like a tiny little tiny little bit of weed up front, up top. This is stupid. I I literally don't know how to do this, so it's gonna smoke regardless. 
I tried some edibles the other day. And here's the deal, all you guys out there that are addicted to marriage away. The reason why you're addicted to marijuana, is it really the high or is it doing this? Is it this hand to mouth gesture? And you know, when you have an addiction to cigarettes or you have an oral fixation, which is what this motion here is called, uh, it stems from abandonment. So you guys might have an abandonment issue with parents. Mostly it's with your parents though. I mean, all abandonment first begins at that core source level uh, within your parents. <clears throat> and so I had to ask myself that, like, am I really like, am I really addicted to the, the weed or do I just like doing this? And honestly, I think I just like, I think I have an oral fixation. I mean, I know I do. This is almost like a waste of the, of the wrap, but like I told y'all, I don't really know how to roll the weed. I smoke it kind of stupid too, so whatever. I'm not gonna smoke on camera though because that's not that's not appropriate. But um, anyways, yeah. Do you guys have an oral fixation stemming from abandonment, or do you really do you actually really like smoking weed? That's a real question from the people out there because I guarantee you, it's a lot of y'all out there that blow down like the law ain't around, and it has nothing whatsoever to do with the weed. I mean, because even when I got, when I was doing them edibles, I was like, why am I, why do I do this to myself every time? Why do, why am I, why am I doing this? Like getting high is so, after a while, it's like, I really do have shit to do this week. I can't just get high. Like if I smoke today, I will not be, actually, I can't say if I smoke, if I pop an edible today, I wouldn't, I'll be out of commission until Sunday. That feels like cap, but I meant Saturday, but I think Sunday sounds about right too. Because technically, I'm still a little high from the last edible that I had. And I literally don't smoke anymore. I don't partake in marijuana because I broke my addiction. But lately, I've been feeling a little bit like, yeah. Yeah. Well, you know how it is. Like, there's always something bad on the news. Like, ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody. I mean, we have time for it because it's responsible to watch the news. But, bro, like, why do you want to stress people out a constant just cycle of fear and sadness and here's the thing also though because this is just something that's coming to the forefront i mean if you know the movie four little girls by spike lee then you know already that children have been assaulted and murdered in their places of worship or at school since the beginning of Jim Crow. So, I mean, not to say, oh, this ain't like it's never happened to a black person before, but if you wonder why black people can cope so well with this shit, that's why. It's, even the doctors in Russia that um, saved that little girl's life and put the pictures up on like CNN or whatever, or they didn't save her life, she actually passed away, but, um, that picture was something that they got from Mamie Till Mobley from the damn, um, from the civil rights era. And Mamie Till was obviously the mother of Emmett Till. And she put his paper or his picture in all the papers to show the atrocities of racism. And so as much as like <clears throat> there were racist people stopping the African students in wherever, Kyiv or Kyiv or wherever that, wherever it was, there were there's still, you know, races against them, but there's still obviously issues with ethnicity, fucking, what do you call that when you live somewhere else other than someone, like your, their demographic location is different. You get it. They realize, they felt like their lives didn't matter as much because they're not the same person. Even though, I mean, if you live, that's just so dumb. That's like if you live in the Dominican Republic, because y'all know how racist the DR was at one point. I mean, we go to a party all the time. I didn't took me a nice little round trip up to DR and went to Haiti and all that. But at the end of the day, like Haiti and the DR had like this whole big old like race war, civil war, whatever. And it's like y'all on the same island. War doesn't make sense because why are you trying to like bully me out of my shit when or you just put a resort up there? Like, why can't I just put my resort up there? Why can't my family have that? It's all about this idea of like taking resources from one group of people because you think that you know better to do what um, you know better what to do with it. I mean, we know that that's what racism is all about, but at the same time, it's just exhausting and I'm telling you and this is not I'm telling you white people y'all are the reason why it's, it's, it's y'all are the reason 
it is exhausting. I hate to do that because I know y'all motherfuckers don't know better. And I hate to just blame you for some shit and I know y'all don't know better. But white people, the reason why this shit's all fucked up like that, like this is because of y'all. Like one thing lead to another, led to another, led to another, led to another. And so, yeah, you could ignore the whole Black Lives Matter issue and the whole motherfucking civil rights issue and all of that. But one day it's going to come back and chickens will come home to roost. I mean, what goes around comes around. Whatever you put out there will come back in for you. And so it's the Newton's, it's Newton's law of fucking physics, theory, whatever. And it's also just karma. It's fucking karma. And so the bad part about karma is that it's about balance. So we're all going to hit with this bullshit equally, but we're, we're, we can literally stop being hit by all of this bullshit. Seriously. If those who are in charge just want this freedom or this fucking, I don't know, power over everybody, if they would just shut the fuck up and just move to the side mind your fucking business like mind your fucking business you go be you if you want to be racist go into your fucking racist sundown town stay your ass over there i'm sure you will stay over there you're not gonna come out trying to fuck with me and lynch me and, and bother me and my shit you live you, you live your life i'll live my life so why do you have to come out here and try to like and the reason why people do that though again is the idea of conquering like we live in we live in a world or in a land where it's all about like conquering women try to or men well really women try to conquer men men try to conquer women uh, unsuccessfully but they try and businesses just try to conquer the fucking land and the world and everything that's just my opinion i don't know i'm gonna go ahead and get off this because i'm sure <laughs> to some degree i'm just rambling and i've got to try to spark up my pitiful sad little pre-roll or post roll anyways like share and subscribe if this video was stupid don't share this with your friends but if it was fire go ahead and send it to them <laughs> I'll